Hi, this is another Power App snippet from AA Nomadic LLC. This is a no-nonsense channel that will give you information quickly and not wasting a ton of your time. If you like what I do, please subscribe, share my videos, and if you feel generous, buy me coffee. So the goal here is to display the data in your collection, in this case, the employee and the title in a group of three. It could be three, four, five, however you like, but in this example, of three. So the way that we approach this is we must have two galleries, the vertical gallery and the horizontal galleries that display the grouping data. The trick here is to have the vertical gallery orders in a way that it can display the sequence of three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on and so forth. So here's how we're gonna do it. In this intro screen, I have a gallery that is blank right now. I point to a collection named main data. In this button, I create a collection named main data original, and this would represent your initial query to your SharePoint table or your data table, because I am doing this demo and I want the data to be created on the fly. Therefore, I have this part. Next, I'll take the data from the main data original, I put into collection main data, and while doing that, I also add a new column named row number. I add a zero just to indicate it is a numeric value. And then I loop through all the records and add the row sequence to the row number value. So at first, data from main original, just the employee name and the department, but now the collection main data would have the same thing up here plus the row number. And if I hit run, you see that. Now we want this to be displayed one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's move to the next screen. In the main screen, I have a gallery, and ideally, I would like this gallery to display the data from my data collection, three records on each row. But first, I need to have a collection and the rows that I need. To initialize a collection, I named this one vertical gal count, and it has a single column that will hold the rows number, and then I clear it so I know I have a blank one. And in here, for this gallery, I display the data from that empty collection at the moment. We would like to loop through and create enough rows to display all the data from data collection, even when we root by three. So for us to determine the number of rows needed, we first count the records on the main data collection. And we know we are grouping by three, so we divide by three. We have five and a third. Therefore, we need to route up to the nearest number, and this gives us the value of six. So we need six rows to display all the data from the main data collection when we root by three. So for us, we need a loop that go through and add one, two, three, four, five. For that, I started with with a loop counter var counts run equal one again i clear the collection just to be sure i have a blank one and then this here is to run a function that handles the loop so it doesn't look like a function this is a true or false variable and it just set itself to the opposite of whatever it is in this case the var run at collection the initialized value is false and when this set is run opposite of false is called true it will update to true hence creating uh, an on change run for any control that have this as the default. In Power Apps, we have the toggle control that we take in true and false. The toggle control can be found here. And I added this control, I named it loop helper, and the default value, I assigned the variable run at collection. So when we run this button, it will change from false to true, hence the on change code will be executed. And then on change, it will check this. If var run count one at the moment, at the time the loop runs, is less than or equal to the number of rows needed six in this case go ahead and collect the count run number to the row number column so first look the row number will have a value of one it increase the count run by one and then it will re-trigger itself by changing the default value to be opposite of one so if it runs the first time it was true and then it changed back to false and hence this condition will be looped one more time and now it's two still less than or equal to six continue to append to row number two increase by one and carry on until the condition is no longer met so if i run now pay attention to this toggle you can see the flickering back and forth for six time and we have six row with the sequence one through six as anticipated next we need to create a horizontal gallery a nested one that inside this vertical gallery i already Went ahead and add one but if you need to know how to do so click on any control within your vertical gallery insert gallery and then use the blank horizontal and you can see here it's gallery 7 and it is inside nested inside the gallery vertical here i will remove this because i already have one this one right here if i am to just display the data from the main data collection and 
put in it for the label, which is the text here, I want to show the row number, the employee, and the department. And if you see here, it should display the whole thing six times. What I really want is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so on and so forth. Looking at this table here, we see that on the vertical row one, it contains the main data one, two, three, row two, four, five, six, row three, seven, eight, nine. Therefore, the upper limit of each horizontal will be three, six, nine, which is the product of the row number multiplied by three. So that's the upper limit right here. For us to determine the lower limit, we take six minus three equal three. And so therefore, the lower limit has to be greater than the upper bound minus three. So in row number three, the upper limit is nine. Nine minus three equals six, and therefore the data must be greater than six. So we have seven, eight, nine. Taking that to the gallery, right now we just display the whole thing, and you can see the data is repeating for each row on the vertical line. If we take off that and strictly use the filter, you see that we are only asking for the records where the main data row is greater than the upper limit minus three and equal to or less than the upper limit. And that's why we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way down to the last record, 16 by itself on row number six. I hope you find this helpful as I was very excited when I figured this out. Uh, a lot of this step can be consolidated into a single button, uh, but for demo purpose, I have to split them out to make it easy for you to understand. For the toggle, just set the visible too far, it will be out of the way. All right, see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.